Back with my uh, panel, Geraldo Rivera, you have a theory about this case. I do. Why is there no person attached to the DNA that has been found and linked between the two crime scenes? I submit that it is likely, at least to me, uh, that this is an undocumented immigrant, an illegal alien who is not anywhere in the U.S. data bank. Uh, he's, there's no name attached to him. He's never been arrested in the United States. It's clear, otherwise he would have popped right up. Uh, it, 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 he is, I submit, likely an undocumented person whose identity is unknown because he's one of millions now in the country without authorization and without any kind of uh, a paper trail, so to well, speak. That is Jesse if he's still in the country, right? I mean, that's yeah. going to be a big thing. Now, the, the sheriff also released what they viewed as another key detail, mm -hmm. that they believe that the killer was in Maryland for a few days before the murder, suggesting that they have evidence that he was spotted, et cetera. Does that change anything? Look, I think this is a great development. I, I'm cautiously optimistic because this sketch would have been great six months ago. His, you look at the photo. Maybe someone will be like, oh, I remember that guy. But he's not, doesn't have those kind of distinguishing characteristics. He may look entirely different now than he did. And, and, and as much as they talk about the red hat, does he still have it? I mean, do, 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 right. is he wearing it in other places? It's a great thing. But at the same time, it would have been more useful six months ago. Maybe it'll strike somebody's memory and say, I remember seeing somebody with that dis exact description in Maryland. But again, I'm cautiously... But, and, and this is interesting, because the sheriff talked about why it took them so long, right? This is, uh, this is number one. We've had other composites, and um, we've had questions about that, that people heard there was composite done. But when it was shown to witnesses, again, people here, people there in Los Angeles, people here in Hartford County, um, they didn't feel that it was an accurate representation. So we weren't going to push something out that even our witnesses don't, uh, just because we have one, doesn't that they don't have a high level of confidence. Misty, the, the families have been frustrated. Um, I'm sure law enforcement's frustrated as well. But six months later, uh, finally getting a sketch. Yeah, finally getting the sketch. And I mean, they don't want to get this wrong. It sounds like they waited until they had what they could create the most accurate sketch. It's difficult, Dan, when you have these crimes in different jurisdictions to bring that together. But now there's the sketch. There's also a reward attached. So to the extent that somebody's seen this individual, they could be incentivized to come forward. And don't forget electronic footprint. Now this sketch is out there. Could he have been caught on some form of a CCTV? Could there be video footage uh, that somebody is in possession of that could now be sent to law enforcement? It's certainly a step in the right direction. You know, to bring Geraldo, this I was surprised peace. in talking to her mom uh, this week that she's been frustrated by the lack of information she's been getting from law enforcement. Let me listen, let you listen to what she said about this, and then I want to ask you about it. We have been in contact, but they've kept a lot of details to themselves. And I, it's been very frustrating not having details and being kept up to speed on things. But I think it's because um, they wanted to protect the integrity of the case because they weren't sure information has been very slow and very small. Geraldo, it's a balance, right, for law enforcement. You want to, of course, keep the victim's families as informed as you possibly can. You don't want to jeopardize the investigation. Absolutely, and you want to start as close to the victim as possible. Uh, you, and, and then in like concentric circles, like a, a pebble in a pond, you broaden and broaden and broaden. And in this case, they, I think, did an excellent job in ultimately linking the East Coast case with the West Coast case. But if my thesis is correct, and, and, and uh, as you surmise, the guy could be long, long gone by now, and uh, a, face, a face in the crowd. Very, very difficult, unless he commits another crime. If you catch him, it could be, I don't know, reckless driving. You take his prints or you uh, do a breathalyzer, you do anything that gets his DNA, you put it in the database, it is amazing what science has done in terms of law enforcement, law and order, uh, crime and punishment. Uh, he, he does anything from this point on that sheds any DNA, then they've got him. They've got him for the 
rape. They've got him for the murder. They've got him for everything. You know, Jesse, pretty bold, though, that he committed these crimes on both coasts, right? So he's yeah. doing a lot of traveling. He has to have some resources. You would wonder if he has some sort of help or is he an independent actor? You know, taking Geraldo's theory, which I think could be very accurate, you wonder his connections here. I do have to say one thing. I have to give credit to the network for keeping this story in the news because we did not hear anything about it. Now, I was comforted to hear the law enforcement saying behind the scenes they were getting tips, they were interviewing witnesses. I have to believe that the increased coverage and attention on this is why we're getting an update now about the sketch. I like to think so because it's one of those stories that could have fallen through the cracks and the fact that we hadn't heard a lot, we weren't getting a lot and of And it seems from so police. solvable. I, I yeah. thought this was going to be solved months ago, right? They had the DNA, Jeez. they've got the video. I was sure yeah. it was going to be a week. That's it. Yeah. All right, everyone's going to stick around.